Hey everybody, it's Sally, and guess where I am? As you can see, I'm in the kitchen, and it is Wednesday afternoon, and I'm feeling like making some apple, dried apple chips, or dried apple pieces, and that's what I'm doing. I bought a three-pound bag of Fuji apples. I can say they don't taste that great to the taste, but when you dehydrate things, you'd be amazed that the average to Midland apple um, can taste awfully sweet and very satisfying um, and full of fiber and healthy nutrition. So I've got the apple sliced, which I took my apples, I ran them down my little inexpensive mandolin, which I picked up at the thrift. First, I took my little apple corer and cored the center. Then I ran that apple down this got a big bowl of apples and another pile here on the countertop that I've just put in one two three of my dehydrator trays okay so you can see you're not supposed to overlap them but I overlap them just a little because I'm afraid I'm not going to have enough trays to accommodate all my apples I'm going to stack these up I'm going to put them on the base put the lid on top of my Nesco Turn it up to the appropriate number, which I'll share with you when I get ready to do it. Let it go for about five hours, and bing, bam, boom, and you've got dried apples for $2.99. And it seems like a lot of apples this way, but when they dehydrate, you'd be amazed. It's um, how small they really are in the end. But still, for $2.99, it's a good deal. I will see you guys when I'm ready to put the apple stacks uh, good to go. So cheers, have a glass of wine, and I'll be right back. Hey guys, it's me, and we're no longer in the kitchen. We're in the dining room, which is why I have a little tiny table here um, that I have set this big dehydrator up on. Just so you can see it, I'm gonna move the chair. So there it is. That's uh, one short, I'm one short. I didn't need all, all 11, I used 10, and that took up the whole bag. Um, here is the top of the Nesco, and I'm gonna set it. Sometimes it says if you wanna do fruits and vegetables and you wanna get them off to a good start, you put them at a higher heat. So I'm gonna put it on the nut and seed heat or the herbs and spice. No, wait a minute, that's not higher. I'm just gonna put it up to like one, it says you should do fruits and vegetables at 135. I'm going to put them up to 145 and come back and check them in a little bit. So basically, just so you know, this was like the last stack and I didn't have that many. But the rest of those are full and some of them are like overlapped a tiny bit and you're not supposed to overlap. But I wasn't sure I had enough of those things. So I know now that I could have spread them out a little and I will probably, when they start to shrink, check on them. I'm going to plug it in right here next to the wine rack. And it's on. And that's all there is to it until they're done. So I will let you know when they're done. I will show, to, show you the sack later on, and uh, you'll see how many came out of this lovely little thing tomorrow. Okay, see you later. Bye. Hey, everybody. It's the morning. I fell asleep early last night, and I forgot to turn off my dehydrator. However, the apples are in perfect condition. One, two, three, four. Big old bags of apples. Let me open the bag up for you. I wanted you to see I do not peel the apples in any way, shape, or form. Oops. There they are. I weighed them. There's six ounces of dried apple chips here. Six ounces is quite a lot from a three-pound bag. I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but I don't know what they'd cost you on the outside, but they would cost you a lot more than the three dollars I spent on the really not good to eat by themselves apples they weren't very tasty but they're very tasty in this form really quickly because it's early um i wanted to tell you something else i tried this week in the dehydrator i had usually i bake pita chips for hummus because i wouldn't buy them um i'm too cheap and uh i put them in the dehydrator and oh my heavens they were done much faster i didn't have to heat up my kitchen and they are crisp and dried, but not in any way, shape, or form burned. I took a tiny, tiny, let me get this, this little misto, this little thing that you pump and spray with olive oil in it. I did spritz them a little bit. It wasn't necessary at all. Um, and I put a little salt on them. But I'm thinking I have some kind of old, tired um, 
low carb tortilla uh, tortillas uh, wraps in the refrigerator. I think I'm going to cut those into triangles today and see if I can dry those up into something that's edible and then that's even better. So we'll see you later. See ya.